Hello YouTube. Um, this is a proof of f of x belonging to big O of g of x using the limit theorem. So here we have a limit as x approaches infinity for f of x uh, divided by g of x equals some limit. If that limit equals zero, then f of x belongs to big O of g of x. If that limit equals a constant c, then f of x belongs to big theta of g of x. And if that limit equals infinity, then f of x belongs to omega g of x. Okay. Um, take a note that uh, if the limit is equal to a constant, then it's equal to theta of g of x, which also means that it belongs to big O of g of x and omega of g of x. So let's start. So our f of n is equal to 4x cubed plus 3x squared. Uh, I'm sorry, we have f of x. And our g of x is equal to x to the fourth. So using the limit rule here, the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x over g of x is going to equal 4x cubed plus 3x squared over our g of x is x to the fourth. And this right here is equal to the limit as x approaches infinity, 4x cubed over x to the fourth, plus uh, the limit as x approaches infinity of 3x squared over x to the fourth. So here we get uh, the limit as x approaches infinity of 4 over x plus the limit as x approaches infinity of 3 over x squared. So here we get 0, and here we get 0. So equals 0. So our, our L, our limit, is 0. Therefore, according to this rule here, uh, limit equals zero, then f of x equals big O g of x. So, uh, 4x cubed plus 3x squared belongs to big O of x to the fourth. Thanks.